about it at the very beginning of the show. Mm -hmm. One of the most dramatic games this season. So we're going to continue to preview the area round of the playoffs, but it kicked off last night and it came down to the wire. Yeah, we're talking about the Wascom Wildcats taking on the West Rusk Raiders. This was a barn burner, the kind that's sure to be talked about for years to come. So let's get straight to it. And we begin with this one tied at seven at the end of the first quarter from Eagle Stadium in Tatum. We got West Rusk backed up third and long and in Mata. Nice pass out to Jeremiah Smith. He beats his man. Don't get on my ankles. Get gone. <laughs> That's a 90 plus yard touchdown and a catch and run. Make it 14 7 Raiders. Now we're going to see the Wildcats on offense. Caden Edwards pitches outside to Diego Smith. He's going to get a big game. A couple of nice moves, trying to fight through a couple of defenders. Gets a big first down. Now, later in the quarter, Waskin back with the ball again, pitching to Smith. Ooh, nice stiff arm. Colonel's man, another nice first down. Now, same drive inside the 10. This time the handoff to Tishon Hamilton, and he's just going to walk in untouched. Now, Waskin would mix the extra point, so it's a 14-13 game at the half. Oh, but in the second half, a brawl breaks out with West Rusk in front, 34-19. Two West Rusk players ejected, three Wascom players. But then the Wildcats used that as momentum, scoring 18 unanswered, including this Caden Edwards pitch to Nada Espy for a touchdown. It is now 34-25, West Rusk lead dwindling. Later, Edwards getting jiggy in the pocket, evading a sack just to air out a pass downfield, and that's to Tyler Davis for a touchdown. Wascom is now down by three. Fourth quarter now, fourth and two for the Wildcats when Edwards hands it off to Tayshawn Hamilton. It's a touchdown. Wascom has now taken a lead 37-34. But West Rust has it with just 16 seconds left in the game. And in Ann and Mata, we trust. Mata pass to Jeremiah Smith in the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, 41-37. West Rust wins and Wascom's season is over. Now we caught it with Coach Harrison earlier today to talk about that game-winning drive. Yeah, and it's not the first time he's done it this year, and it's full team effort on it. He made a great throw. He struggled early in the third and really got banged up a little bit, so it affected a few of his throws. Uh, he came over to the sideline like, dude, we need you, and he just he said, yes, sir, and rolled out there. And great job by the O-line, was not touched one time uh, in the final drive, and then our receivers made some great catches, so it was a great team effort there in the end. All right, so we've been talking about West Rusk mm -hmm. and Andon Mata all season long, but when you are down – three with just 16 seconds left to go in the game and your coach says hey bro I know you haven't been playing good you know for the second half mm -hmm. but we need you and you turn it on like that that's why we say an end and we trust yeah mm -hmm. that was a perfectly placed ball mm -hmm. only his receiver Jeremiah Smith could go get it mm -hmm. and then he made that catch again great body control got the hands up there brought it in feet down inbounds beautiful play for the Raiders. I mean, but how about the O-line? We talk about the best mm -hmm. O-lines in East Texas. He said he wasn't even touched on that final drive. So, shout out to O-line, shout out to Jeremiah Smith, shout out to, shout out to West Rusk, okay? Now, the yeah. winner of that game, West Rusk, obviously, will face the winner of Hooks versus Harmony. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to face the Raiders after a big-time finish like that. No, not at all, but at least West Rusk gets to sit on it and smile tonight. <laughs> but when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about what this chilly forecast looks for the night. Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony is going to join us.